we finally have a new type of sponsored display ad that we can mess with here on Amazon. Now I say we because it's now available to a lot more people. Uh, past couple months, a few people have seen it here and there, but I am not going to waste any time on this one. Sponsor display. Let's make a new ad. Okay, sponsor display new campaign. We're going to come down here. We are going now product targeting sponsor display. Everyone should have this set up. This is where you target other competitors. You target your own ASINs for defensive product targeting. Boom, simple enough. Audiences. Audiences has been here for a while. Okay, for audiences, this is the new one. Okay, it even says new. <laughs> Views your marketing is what we used to have. Reach custom built audiences who viewed product detail pages matching criteria you choose. So what, what I hear when I hear that is that we are still doing all of the work, right? We're telling Amazon, I want you to target this, this, and this because I think this will work. And for my other data, I think this will do well. So just really quick a refresher on this categories. If you guys have a product selected, obviously something is going to pop up here. But, and I think I've said this before, if, first of all, if you want to do this, products and categories, you want to split these up, right? So, my favorite example is Coffee Maker. If I want to have a sponsor display, category targeting campaign, I want my categories in one campaign and my products in another campaign. It's just so much easier to look at that. So, boom, we add this. Well, let me add it. It will. Potential reach. This is what is very, very interesting about this. So potential reach, zero to one million, right? Pretty broad and saying people who have looked at coffee makers. And then again, you can add in, pro actually, you can add in products if they're there. And what this is, is, and these are the very dangerous ones. So what happens regardless, if I do this for user marketing, or if I do this Amazon audiences, and I wanna to touch on these two things first. These two are always in there, okay? And I wanna pull up an example really quick before I dive into audiences, because I'm just gonna walk through that guys with you. If you don't know that's there, we're gonna walk through it, learn it together, go through it. If I open a campaign here, I set one of these up, okay? I set up the brand new Amazon audiences. You can even see here it says audiences. We're already getting data on it. I love to see this in a couple days ago. But look at all these clicks here that I'm getting to these two things that default in every campaign. Advertised product and similar to advertised product. So if you are setting these up and you have audiences that you're going after, be very, very careful about these two things because these these are getting cheaper clicks than anything else because I think they've been there a while. In my mind, these are more like auto auto targeting. You don't really know what these are targeting. They're, they're similar, right? I, these are like loose and substitutes. And then everything else you add, these audiences are all close match, okay? That's a good way to think about it. So just a quick note, when you're setting these up, know that these two default into your campaign and set them at lower bids and just watch them very, very carefully, okay? And there's there's data here we've got, and that's the thing, we've got 104 clicks. We've got 33 clicks on one, one audience and then like 53 clicks on one of this similar one. But look how low the click-through rates are here. So a ton of impressions, ton of impressions, right? So let's let's just dive in and just think about what these are. Amazon audiences. I'm going to delete these. Again, these these kind of scare me a little bit, okay? Now, there's four types of audiences. Best way to think about this is we are no longer tracking keywords. We are tracking customer behavior. You know, if you want to think about it, this is this is what Amazon is finally showing us the amount of data they have. The scariest one Probably the scariest one of these four is life events. So what happens? There's not many here, and I'm going to touch on this in a second. These are the only life events we have, okay? Amazon somehow knows that someone has moved in the past three months. If you have a, a housewarming gift, right, something like that, housewarming, you add this, potential match, 18 to 20 million people. 
This, what this is telling me is that out of all Amazon Prime members, maybe 20 million of them have moved in the past, like in the past 30 days, 20 million of them have moved in the past three months or something like that. Or they're showing habits of moving. Their location has changed, obviously, right? Amazon can track your location. If they see an IP address has permanently changed, this is where they're getting this data from. So this one is simple enough. And let's, even for campaign structure, I don't want to get into that right now. If you guys want to do that, you would set up four of these campaigns, right? You set up one for life events, one for lifestyle, one for interest, one for in-market. Life events is the easiest one to think about. If you have a pet product, if you have a dog product, and this seems weird to me that there's only 1.5 million new pet owners, but 20 million people have moved in the past three months. Seems a little off, so maybe don't go by these numbers, but that's life events, okay? You can target those. Lifestyle. So lifestyle, the easiest way to think about this is if they can track people, like I know I do some NFL stuff. I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. I have like on Amazon, they know Green Bay Packers are my favorite team. They know that, right? So lifestyle, they probably know some data about me that I like NFL gear. So they can put that in front of me. But now as a seller, we can put that in front of our customers. So I want to find one here. New to category. This one was interesting. So I've been honestly just been looking at these. There's a lot missing and there's some of them that are very weird. Let's stick with pet supplies for now and just kind of stick with this example. So a fun way to find what is in your category is look at exactly your browse node and what category you're in and then just start paging through here. Okay, start paging through, start finding your category. Obviously the search bar, I'll dive into that in a second. Okay, now cat supplies. So see like in this subcategory, there's only what, six options? So we've got cat litter and housebreaking, new to category, cat food purchases, new to category. What this probably means is that they know someone has bought some other new cat items and they're buying stuff for their brand new cat. But this is only new to category. If we go into subscriptions, I have no clue what subscriptions would mean. Student, service, prime, prime now, AWS, and now, AWS customer lookalikes. So there are little info things over these. They're not going to tell you much, but lookalikes. So if you have something, have someone that's a student, right? And you have office supplies or college supplies, maybe Amazon student lookalikes is something you want to, you want to target. You guys can see I'm kind of learning this with you right now because there's a lot of holes in this. But I'm getting data very, very quickly off of this. Travel and commute, international travelers, upcoming leisure travelers. If you have sunscreen, if you have a swimsuit, right? Something where people are going to go on vacation. You can travel, you can target them with that. So that one's interesting. It seems like it's pretty broad. Interests. This is very self-explanatory, right? Sports, sports and fitness interested in exercise and fitness. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this caveat. You can go crazy with these, right? You can target so many different things. Keep the bids super low. On these new types of ads, keep the bids super, super low and just go crazy with them. See what targets are actually gonna work for you. Interested in exercise and fitness. Let's see what this, 1.5 to 2 million. Okay, so, now you can open this more, you can go into sports. I'm guessing there should be different sports here, right? Basketball. So see like NFL fans is under basketball. That's what I'm saying. There's holes in this, which makes me scared that there's holes in these ads where they show up. So the fact that I see NFL under basketball is not great, okay? Basketball fans, let's add that. American football, American football fans interested in pro football. A lot of these seem like they overlap as well. So I'm hoping these get more refined. And basketball fans, about five, three and a half million people. That seems about right. Okay, so you guys understand that pretty well, the interest in market. I think this is the one that obviously has the most potential. So if I go to sporting goods again, and I go to sports, 
I just want to see if these are different. So let me try to find basketball. Basketball. So you see how this has more um, tabs underneath it? Backboards, basketballs. And this is the thing too, is, well, I guess there's more, I, I would think that clothing would include shoes. So you kind of see what I'm thinking about is basketball clothing is one thing, but basketball shoes are the b biggest part of basketball. They're the best gear for basketball. So if they have clothing, does this only mean shirts and shorts or does this mean shoes? They're, they're likely to purchase men's basketball clothing. See, I don't think that means shoes, but obviously they should have shoes in there. Okay, you guys see my brain is working, how I'm just kind of calling this out right now. And Mother's Day is coming up, okay? I want to end the video with this. Mother's Day is coming up. Let me remove this. Let me type in Father's Day. If I type in Father's Day, there's an in market for Father's Day and there's interest in Father's Day. So, and it shows people are likely to buy Father's Day gifts. That's the whole point of that. So Father's Day is there. If I type in mothers, they don't have one. They don't have it for Mother's Day, but they have it for Father's Day. A lot of stuff missing in this brand new ad type, okay? If I do like grandma or something, nothing, nothing for grandma. So obviously this is where you want to start. You can start with the search bar and you can see, so there we go. They have boys basketball shoes, but they do not have men's basketball shoes. And there's that NFL one again under basketball, okay? So my data is just coming in on this. And just to remind you guys again, this these are the ads that you're gonna see in all of that empty space on Amazon. It's the retargeting ads. So be very careful. If you know you don't really have a retargeting product, I have someone who sells a $200 item. His $200 item is not good for retargeting. I'm not gonna focus on these. I have someone else who has a $15 item that goes with so many things. That's where I started with this because I know people don't even know that her item exists, but it's, it's really great to add to cart at the end. Okay, so these are in here, a lot of cool stuff. Be careful, low bids, and remember those two ones, like the similar to advertise product, the two ones that default to, remember to be very, very careful with those as well, okay? But guys, set these up. I'm sure you can find at least something that matches to your products and get some new types of ads on there and then see, it's always kind of a fun race. See if you can go on the front end of Amazon and find this ad, okay?